SpaceX's 25 and B9 fully stacked massive testing, upgraded water deluge in action, and more. What are the upgrades made in the water deluge system to pass the critical testing system? Is it ready now or not yet? Hi guys, we are back again with another amazing video for all of you related to Starship's recent updates. But before starting the video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you will never miss an update in the future. Let's dive into the video. If my eyes are not misleading me, after up to four times stacking and destacking ship 25 and booster 9 just did the first full stack test together. SpaceX did not. However, immediately subject this pair to a WDR test for some strange reason. This time, the battery of testing started with liquid oxygen and went through multiple rounds. Subcooler began to release white smoke, followed by the tower ventilation and the loading of liquid oxygen by ship 25. Over the following hour, its liquid oxygen bottom and liquid methane top tanks were gradually filled to between 30 and 50% of their maximum capacities, which resulted in the awakening of Booster 9. While it appeared that everything was going to an end, we can see frost on both a liquid oxygen and a liquid methane tank. After that, Frosty was recycled to Starship once more. Even though it's not a war like we had hoped, the procedure is still quite impressive, considering that they range from minus 260 to 330 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 60 to minus 20 degrees Celsius, when filled with no insulation, let alone that supercooled steel. The thin steel tanks holding them quickly become chilly. A coating of frost SL ice is then created by freezing water vapor from the humid South Texas air usually at a level that corresponds to the cryogenic liquid level in a starship's tanks. Throughout that process, those cryogenic liquids inescapably come into contact with the ambient temperature from the starship tanks and plumbing, which are white hot in comparison and warm up boiling off into gas. As a result, a gassy chemical is far less thick than its liquid form, meaning that the pressure inside a starship's fixed tanks can completely come incontrollable after indeed a small quantum of pustule off to maintain the correct tank pressure starship, like all other rockets sometimes reflections off the gas that forms. Therefore, we're left with the two main styles of interpreting the hieroglyphics of cow evidence tests, which are frost situations and venting next, in addition to testing boat 25 and supporter 9. SpaceX history also successfully actuated and tested the water deluge system in a largely witching manner in less than 60 seconds. This massive quantum of water was ejected. We feel to have the same pressure, but a longer duration. This is due to the added storehouse of further water and further high pressure gas. Lately, the company added 82,000 gallons of capacity along with this. The high pressure gas system now has nearly doubled its capacity since the last time this system was tested. Spix has had to follow a tedious process for its launch point to ensure rocket launch exertion doesn't affect the ecosystem girding. The launch pad cooling the pad and diverting the force of the machines down from the concrete and sword structures requires thousands of gallons of water. And indeed, this gets converted into broom, an inordinate inflow of water to the girding areas during the full life cycle of the Starship program should carry some pitfalls to wildlife, but back to the boat. Supporter brace of 259 measuring around 122 m altitudinous from boat tip to supporter tail this completely piled rocket is again the largest ever assembled compared to the falcon 9 and heavy rockets spacex presently operates starship is extensively larger it's also meant to be completely applicable while the falcon family with its expendable orbital upper stage is roughly 80 applicable if spacex can meet its specialized Pretensions, Starship could ultimately bring around a magnitude less to launch than Falcon while carrying roughly 5 to 20 times further cargo per launch. In short, it could revise the cost of access to the route. Sorely, there are still non-supervisory hurdles to clear a supporter 9 and boat 25 cannot get off the ground until SpaceX gets a launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration shortened to FAW. It's the main controller of marketable space transport in the U.S. It's reportedly still reviewing data and environmental impacts from the Starship's first flight test in April, which exploded soon after its launch due to machine failures in 2021. SpaceX was chosen by NASA 
to develop a moon lander interpretation of Starship as part of the planned Artemis three charge set for late 2025. The giant rocket will be responsible for transporting American astronauts between the lunar route and the lunar face by first putting them down near the ice rich South Pole region and later launching them back to the lunar route for their return trip. SpaceX is under contract with NASA to use Starship to land American astronauts on the moon before China does. We're bearing a crusade that requires numerous early test breakouts to fleetly develop and prove out the critical systems demanded to safely land NASA astronauts on the lunar face. Bill Gersamer of SpaceX's vice chairman of figure and flight trustability told the U.S. Senate Council on Space and Wisdom last Wednesday. Still, the 121M altitudinous 5000T rocket has been sitting on its launch pad in Bachicacta, Texas, ready for an alternate launch attempt since early September. SpaceX continues to stay for blessing to launch from the Federal Aviation Administration. According to the mayor, he said, though flight safety is important to our innovation and maintaining our leadership in space, we're at curve point with inconceivable inventions in marketable space launch. He said that we're at a curve point with inconceivable invention in marketable space. Launch the criticality is especially true in the face of strategic competition from state actors like China. May get ahead in the new moon race me. U.S. Senate Council has been advised due to hamstrung government regulations in America decelerating the development of the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy rocket. Indeed, China's fastening all of its coffers to gain dominance in space. A crew of three astronauts is set to launch China's Tonggong space station this week for a six-month-long charge. A long March 2 rocket was rolled out to the pad at the John Satellite Launch Center in the GOI Desert in northwestern China early October 19th. The rocket is sloped with the Shinzo-17 crew spacecraft and a reflective escape system. At the top of the cargo fairing, the 62M long rocket was transferred vertically across the roughly 1500M from the assembly building to the pod at around 30 m per nanosecond. China began constructing Tong Gong in 2021, with the launch of three modules Orbital Village was completed in late 2022, following the launch of the Wen and Menon trial modules. The country is still planning to double the size of the Tong Gong. In the coming times, a Chinese functionary said at the 47th International Astronautical Congress in Baku, Azerbaijan, before this month, we will make a 180-ton, six-module assembly in the future. Shang Kao of the China Academy of Space Technology states, said a multifunctional expansion module with six dock and anchorages will first be launched in the coming times to allow this expansion. CMSAO has also been looking at opening Tong, ding to color for marketable purposes, including tourism. It also recently named four proffers to do a detailed design study phase for developing low-cost force operations to the space station. China is also beginning medications for crewed lunar operations with the end of putting a brace of astronauts on the moon before 2030. China has officially launched the mortal lunar disquisition design. Although all the spacecraft have commodities in common transferring astronauts to the moon is still relatively different from a near flight. Qian Li Klunk an expert from the China Astronaut Exploration and Training Center told CCTV on October 16. It has great specialized difficulty and veritably high conditions for astronauts for which we're making applicable medications. In the end, as it's been said numerous times before allowing Starship to test is extremely important. Well, that is about it for a moment. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it thumbs up. Also, let us know in the comments section what you think about the SpaceX, S25, and B9 fully stacked testing.